The Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, says his doctors have assured he's in good health to lead the country. Dr. Rowley used today's post-cabinet news briefing to address speculation that swirled concerning his health amid rumors of a cancer diagnosis. The Prime Minister, however, took the opportunity to appeal to the male population to get tested for prostate cancer sooner rather than later. Peter Christopher reports. I am pleased to announce that my doctors have pronounced me in good health. And I have no ailment, I have no symptoms which can prevent me at this point in time from conducting the duties to which I have been assigned in Trinidad and Tobago. This was the Prime Minister's announcement in response to weeks of speculation about his health. The Digger Martin West MP came to the post-cabinet briefing, saying his sole intention was to make the announcement that Parliament would reconvene on September 9th. The Prime Minister returned on Tuesday, having gone to the U.S. to undergo what he said was a routine checkup. He said he was surprised that rumors of a cancer diagnosis, propelled by a front-page article which suggested throat cancer, had dominated public discussion in recent weeks. The Prime Minister shut down those rumours, but also expressed disappointment that the Trinidad Express had aided in pushing such information. But then, of course, I look at the national newspaper, and on the front page, I must express my disappointment to the Express, which I read every day, and would like to believe that a certain level of responsibility exists in the editorial room where on the front page of the Express you publish rumour about my health. The Prime Minister also used the post-cabinet briefing to make a public plea to men of Trinidad and Tobago to get tested for prostate cancer. He appealed in particular to men of African descent, as he said research has shown that that group is at a higher risk. He related an interaction with a close friend who had been too proud to undergo such a procedure and urged the men of the nation to not be so macho when it comes to matters which impacts mortality. These particular diseases um, benefit from early detection. And even at that stage, he said to me, No! Nah, no man in digging up my bottom like that. And I couldn't believe it because it was a case of life and death. But he was so macho that he was not prepared to subject himself to the test, the physical test. The Prime Minister also explained his decision to head to California for medical treatment as opposed to seeking care on these shores. He explained that he had been seeking medical treatment in California for over 25 years, long before he became Prime Minister, and thought it best to continue working with doctors who held his medical records. He assured, however, that he had confidence in local health facilities. Peter Christopher, CNews.